Look, I've ridden some of the best roads in the United States, but every weekend I ride at Bells Liner Road, I realise that it's something about it that keeps drawing me back. Some of the scenery out there is, you just have to stop and get off the bike and just go and have a look. You do need to be aware of changing speed limits in the 60 kilometre zones, lower down in the mountains, lots of driveways, lots of slower cars, corners that are pretty tight, you've got to pick your line pretty well. And look, there's been a lot of roadworks done up there too, which got good overtaking areas and are the safest place to overtake. So you can take as short a time or as long a time as you want to do it. And when I'm riding with a group, we usually take a long time to do it because there's lots of places to stop and have a chat and it gives us a chance to talk through a few of the issues that are going on at the moment. So it really is the best of all worlds, I think. I'm a bit of a Harley man. I like the Road Glide because it's got a fixed fairing on it, which to me feels a lot more solid. It's got that Harley feel about it, and it's just a comfortable bike to cruise through the Blue Mountains. Some of the most interesting parts of Bells is riding up through the first part of Currajong Heights through up to Bilpin, which is beautiful. Then you get into the open road and riding through the, the magnificent valleys. It's pretty breathtaking out there, and, and especially on a really nice day, the variety of, of scenery you get, the, the colours are just magnificent. It, it just feels expansive and, and it changes all the time. So it makes me realise how wonderful and lucky we are to be here. But Bell's Line is a living, changing road. In the lower part of the mountains through Courageong and Courageong Heights, there is a lot of different sort of traffic and it can get quite built up sometimes and then getting up 100 km an hour zone further up towards Bell. There's a lot of long sweeping corners, but there's a lot of rock faces there and there's a lot of trees close to the road. Uh, Bell's Line, like any road, does change with different weather. Fog, black ice, particularly in the winter, debris on the road or the leaves have fallen. You really need to be aware of those changing conditions and if you do that, you'll enjoy your time on Bell's Line of road every day of the week. So I've got a, a main group of people I ride with it's really good to talk to people from my type of work. Look, there's a lot of great things about working for the police force that we all really enjoy. But look, there's a darker side to the police force. The deaths we see are absolutely horrific. The domestic disputes, things involving children, the suffering that we see in some people, it does take a toll. I really started to see the effects of how that impacts on people. And so Wall to Wall was born out of that that would give people something to look forward to that was motorcycle related, supports people who have lost uh, loved ones who are working in the New South Wales Police Force. All the people that are, that are riding in it, to see them look forward to it every year and that's one of the great strengths I think of the wall to wall and that's why so many people just really enjoy riding in it. One of the big things I think that's changed since I've been in the Police Force is been able to talk to people about these psychological injuries that, that we do get. And every Sunday we go for a ride on Bells Liner Road, I realise, apart from the riding itself, which is to me the best way of getting, getting away from work and getting away from the mobile phone and getting away from everything else that's going on, it's a good way to just give yourself a reality check with people. You know, they're all fascinating people and, and they all give me a different aspect and a different view on, on, on life. So from a personal perspective, I think it gives me great balance.